Um, for the C part, rather than just play it, um, we're going to talk through it because it's effectively on the banjo the same as the B part. For um, what happens on the fiddle, the fiddle sort of drops down an octave, and we can't do that um, on 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 the banjo. Um, the fiddle's tuned A E A E, so it's cross tuned, so it, it's shifting um, what will be on the top strings down to the bottom strings. Um, we just basically don't have um, another string here to, to enable us to do that. that that's not only really a problem. Um, the only thing is I would tend to play it slightly differently because of that and tend to work the lower string um, to get a little bit more depth to it. So I'm sort of going a little bit where the fiddle's going. Um, and I'm, what I'm doing, I'm brushing the third and fourth together. using the fourth string as, as a little sub drone, as a bass drone. Um, and that just enhances that sort of low kind of um, sound. I could, if I wanted to, go up high, um, like, like I was doing before, as I would in the B part. Um, the only thing is that's just the same as the B part. It's not really doing anything different. Um, and in a sense, if you were playing with a fiddle, um, you might sort of get in the way a bit if you're doing something like that. So that's just a taste choice, really, just a, just a, a little judgment that you, you, you can make and you might come to a different conclusion about what to do. But that's what I do anyway.